grind with modern music lessons. This lesson is about pinched harmonics or artificial harmonics. Some people also call them picked harmonics. Uh, but they're different than natural harmonics um, in that um, they're done artificially with the side of your thumb. So uh, basically the way it works is when you hit a note, it gives this harmonic sound to it. So uh, basically the way you're going to do that is whenever you pick the string, you have, to, you have to angle it so that the side of your pick hits the string, which would be this side of your, your thumb, hits, hits the actual string so that you get that harmonic. I remember Zach Wilde used to do that a bunch. But... Um, so, um, so the idea here is in order to get a to get a, a consistent sound with this, you basically have to have to first practice doing it so that so that your thumb just kind of hits it without muffling it. But then also you have to find the good spot for it, or also the sweet spot in which it, it's more active. Just like whenever you do a natural harmonic on the twelfth fret. Or the seventh, or the fifth, or you know that whammy bar trick on the fourth fret. You know, um, you know any of those any of those things. You know, you know it definitely has a sweet spot where it occurs more naturally. So, so, so basically, you have to find where that is. For me, on this guitar, it would be a little bit past this pickup. Like I know I can get that sound. Like I know I can do that there, but then if I pick further back, that can be a real annoying sound after a while. But but you know you know um, that's just how you find you know the different tones in which you can you can mess around with with that artificial harm harmonic. There's people that are better at it than me, and you know they can they can they can do all kinds of sounds. Uh, Prince used to used to do really sick stuff with uh, with natural harm, harmonics and Van Halen and all all kinds of people. But uh, beyond that, uh, in order to get into uh, playing it uh, more natural, uh, you know, once you get it on one note and you kind of find that sweet spot, then you have to kind of uh, practice scale shapes or arpeggio shapes, any or licks. Or anything that you that you would utilize in your playing, in order to um, you know to get a more uh, consistent sound with it. So if I if I took like an A minor, pen, sorry, an A minor scale, right? I would basically downpick the whole thing and try to try to do artificial harmonics on every tone. Uh, at first, you want to do this really slow to really get a good sound. Stuff like that. You know that that's that's kind of overkill with it. You know, it's like almost like too much salt or pepper. You know, in in like a good dish or something like you don't. Want or painting with too much of one color. You know, it can be it can it can, it can get kind of boring after a while. But for the sake of practice, it can be it can be really awesome. So anyway. Uh, Tell me, tell me what you think in the in the uh, comments. Uh, if you have any other questions about any other things that you would like me to address in any of these videos, I'm trying to do these things once a week, so uh, it, it's easier for me if I have leads from actual people that want to learn things. So uh, drop me a line, and uh, thank you so much. I'm Brian Mays with Modern Music Lessons, and have an awesome day.